And now it's time for us to bring back a segment that we haven't done in a while, crafting with corgis. <laughs> We're gonna be making a doggy peep hole. <laughs> You'll need a corgi, poster board, or cardboard, or like a large piece of paper, scissors and a pen, and a cup and a shot glass. So you want to get a shot glass or something small and round that can be possibly around the doggy's eye size. Let's me look forward. Okay, it's gonna be around here. So this is where Gatsby's snout should be. I'm just gonna put, uh, I'm gonna make a circle. Perfect. Circle. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna poke a hole in each of the spots. Hole and hole. This should make it easier to cut. Okay, there we go. I wasn't able to cut perfectly up to the thing, so I just kind of use my fingernail and then push in the parts. It's the secret garden with the secret peephole. <gasps> Who's peeping at me? <laughs> Gatsby, you're doing such a good job of brightening our day. <laughs> Secret Corgi Garden. <laughs> you can tell the quarantine is hitting us pretty hard. Ever since I got Gatsby that doggy peephole, I feel like someone's always been watching me. <gasps> no! Come on, you guys. We gotta win. I found some colored paper that are gonna make you into a flower, Gatsby. Gonna be the main event, no king was before. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's a flower! Oh my gosh! Huh? Plants for days. What is that plant? <laughs> oh, so cute. Gatsby, what is this? Is this your corgi cave? What? Show us inside. Show us. Where does this go? <laughs> oh. Ah! Hello everyone, greetings from the social distancing Corgi Cave. I hope you're all doing very well staying at home. Am I annoying you yet? <laughs> corgi Cave is for Corgis. Oh, it's too small for Ryan's. Arrgh. It's finally April, you guys. Finally. Running with all the kites. This was such a funny shot because we were hoping that it would be windy and it turned out it wasn't very windy at all. <laughs> so I had to run as fast as I could, and everyone was watching us. They're all just like, what are you doing trying to fly kites when there's no wind? <laughs> and I'm like running on the beach. I got so tired. It feels so free. One of my favorite photos from the calendar. I know it's April, but if you want a calendar, we still have a few left. Go to corgionfleek.com if you want one. Gatsby, check it out. Look what we got. We got some nano lights. Ooh, that's gonna be cool, huh? That's what they look like. They look like little triangles. <gasps> look at that. Ta-da! Looks pretty cool. So in the last vlog, I had to find Gatsby. This time, Gatsby's gonna have to find me. Let's see how well he does. found me! <laughs> He's like, I want to join you. Should I hide again? Go! I can't stop laughing. 
laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't find me! I thought I got you! I tricked you! I saw you looking in the bathroom! I got you! I got you! Okay, now it's time for us to make some lunch! David the foodie on Instagram. Look at that ramen. That looks so good. I decided to use this ramen, which is just a cup ramen. It's an instant noodle. I just defrosted some fish. And he said that he put a kielbasa inside of his ramen. Um, I went to the store, they did not have kielbasa, but they did have one of my favorite things, which is Portuguese sausage. In Hawaii, we eat this so much for breakfast. It's so good. We have our spinach. So first thing, we're going to boil some water for the spinach, pour some olive oil, salt, pepper. Oh, that smells so good. We're gonna pour some soy sauce. Sriracha. That together. We're gonna turn off the heat and then pour some of the sauce on top. Water is boiling, so we can add our spinach. It's been a few seconds. It's gonna take it out now. So give them some cold water. Stop it from cooking. So all we need to do is heat up some water. Turn on the kettle. I'm gonna make a few. Okay, the water is boiled. I'm gonna add it to the noodles here. Cover it with a plate for three minutes. Okay, it's been three minutes. Ta-da! Smells delicious. Okay, Our spinach inside, sausage, and we do our fish. Ta-da! Let's see how it tastes. I've never had fish or sausage inside of my ramen. I don't know if I mix the flavors too well. So each thing on its own tastes pretty good. Like the fish tastes good, but it doesn't really match the flavor of the noodles. It kind of matches. I think kielbasa probably would taste a lot better. I think I should have not made the seasoning for the fish as strong. And for the sausage, I think I would have used kielbasa just to try it out. Because Portuguese sausage is not really matching the ramen. I'm gonna finish eating this and get on with the vlog. It's time for your joke of the week. A mom says to her son, Anton, Anton, do you think I'm a bad mother? My name's Paul. And that's your joke of the week. Today is shoulder day. I picked up some of these weights over here. You can adjust them to different weights so they save a lot more space. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. 25 is here. When you stick that in, pour it out. It pulls out 25 pounds worth. Let's start the workout. Okay, we are done. Gatsby, I got a super good shoulder pump. Gotta make my protein shake. First thing, we add about 10 ounces of almond milk, half of a banana. Next, I have chia seeds. Uh, about two tablespoons of almond butter. Finally, we use our protein powder. You know how I hate protein shakes? Like, I can't stand the taste of it. I usually have to like, plug my nose. This one I can actually drink and it's totally fine. Hey Gatsby, high five. High five. <laughs> I think we should clean the aquarium. It hasn't been cleaned in a while. First thing we do is we lay out a towel. See, there's like all this algae on the glass. So we gotta scrape all that off first. Somebody decided this is my place to stay. I'm using a flipper magnetic cleaner. It has a little blade on the inside, and so with the magnet, you're able to scrape the inside of the tank. Gotta do this on a rainy day. Oh, sorry, snail. Okay, and then we grab the scraper tool here, and we scrape the back of the aquarium. So I think I have some of the water here in the bucket. 
So we got the filter sponge. Stick it in the water here. The reason why you don't want to just rinse it out with regular water is that there is live nitrifying bacteria in there. We don't want to kill the bacteria because that's part of the ecosystem, the nitrogen cycle. If you guys took environmental science. Oh yeah. Okay. The way that you clean an aquarium is basically you take out some water and you put some new water inside. These guys, these bathrooms. It's the only one that has an attachment. What this does is when you turn on the water, it acts as like a suction and it'll suck out the water. Lock these tubes all the way over. I can see like little stuff coming out, so we're just sucking all of that out. Check out my Montipora coral. I made 11 gallons of salt water, so that's how much we want to take out. That's 11 gallons there. Now it's time for us to stick in the water that we made. I drag the new water over here. I'm pumping water from here back into the aquarium to fill it up. That's pretty much how you do an aquarium water change. Okay, we got it. And last. And ta-da! We are done! Check it out. So clean! Good, thing. Good boy. Back up. Wow! No Santa! No Santa! No! Santa back! Santa's leg! He's gonna kick you, Gatsby! He's kicking you! He's kicking you! <gasps> Gatsby! Santa's leg! Now Santa only has one leg! It's Gatsby's food time! Let's go! Let's get your food! There you go, Gatsby! Enjoy! Eat the food! You can do it, Gatsby! <laughs> Why? He was like, that was weird. In the last vlog, we played that celebrity Pictionary game, and I drew a picture for you guys in 30 seconds, and you guys had to guess who that was. I would say most of you guys got it correct. He's holding a gun, and he has a necktie on. It was Keanu Reeves. Anyway, I thought we would try this again with some new celebrities. Last time, I had 30 seconds, which was not enough time. Um, I think I should get 45 seconds. We're gonna generate the celebrity. Three, two, one, go! Okay, um, okay, so I'm gonna draw the old Justin Timberlake. So he had kind of like that ramen hair, I would say. Like that, right? Those eyes. He had like small eyebrows. And then he would sing. So we have to hold him. He has to hold a microphone so he knows. Oh, and then he had a suit and tie, right? He had like a necktie. It's all about the hair. Was there anything else? Oh my gosh, that was it! That's all I got. 45 seconds really was not that long. That does not look at all like Justin Timberlake. Hey! Okay, so I, I gave myself 45 seconds to draw. Okay. It's a celebrity. I don't think that extra 15 seconds helped at all. Okay, here it is. Take a look. Okay, just take it all in. <laughs> okay, what is your guess? Justin Timberlake. You're right! <laughs> it's the ramen hair. Yes! I, I'm just such a good drawer, right? Yeah, in 45 yeah. seconds. Okay, one more, one more. I'll call you back. Katy Perry. Um, okay, so she had like black hair. Oh, she had like the California girls, like the big um, boob thing with the, the cupcakes. I don't want to do that right now. Um, fireworks in the background, yeah, cause, cause baby you're a firework. Oh, and then she had Daisy Dukes. This is so hard! Okay, stop. The only hint is the fireworks. I was trying to draw Daisy Dukes bikinis on top, but I didn't have enough time. I don't know what the ripples are. Katy Perry? You're right! <laughs> okay, I, I was assuming those are fireworks. Yes, you are right! Good job, good job, Sean. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Now it is your guys' turn. So, in the comments below, write down which celebrity I am drawing. I'm not gonna tell you this time. This is so difficult. I, I think only like a few people are gonna get this one. Drawing. Oh, I guess I'm drawing with red. Hair. Um, I don't know. Oh, 
Okay, that's it. This looks like a homeless guy. <laughs> it was really hard to draw. I'm drawing these from memory without looking at any pictures. Okay, so in the comments below, write down which celebrity I attempted to draw here. Who, who is this person supposed to be? I'll give you one more hint. It is a well-known celebrity. Corgi? It's the end of the vlog! Hooray! I hope you guys had a great time with us. And don't forget, if you want to get some Corgi on Fleek merchandise, I'm still shipping it out at CorgiOnFleek.com. Oh, I forgot to mention, we are going to be doing another live stream. Make sure to turn on notifications or follow us on the social medias in the description below. We will post there when we are going to be doing the next live stream. There will be prizes. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Hey Cassie, check out this awesome fan. So, a lot of people have been asking me, what's been going on with your aquarium? We haven't seen it in a while. Well, there's a reason for that.